Hello guys, I'm back with a new video on how to use Git and GitHub in Android Studio. I have divided this video in two parts. In the first part, we will be uploading an Android Studio project to GitHub, then import a project from an existing GitHub repository, then modify some code and see how we can commit, push, update, rollback and annotate directly from Android Studio. In the second part, we will switch and create new branches, then do pull request and merge, and finally use git commands using terminal all directly from android studio so let's begin with the first one but before that we need to install git for that search download git click on the first link choose your operating system i already have it downloaded so i will not download it again now Go to your installer and double click on it. Click next, 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 next. Just click on next. It's done. Now click on finish. Now go to your Android Studio, then go to VCS and enable version control integration. Choose Git and press OK. You will see all these files will change to red color. Now for checking whether Git has been configured properly or not, go to File, go to Settings. Now inside version control, go to git, here click on test, it's showing the git version, that means git has been configured properly, press ok. Now to add these files to our local git repository, first go to the project view, it's by default in android view, here go to project view, then right click on this directory, your project directory and here go to the git option and then click on add it will turn all the files to green after that you need to commit this directory for that right click on it go to git and then commit directory you can give any commit message i will give in it then click on commit Ignore this warnings, click on commit, commit, it's done. Now to push this local repository to our github, first we need to create one repo, for that go to github.com, click on new, I will name it Disney, then create repository. Copy the URL, then switch to Android Studio, here, go to project, right click on this, go to get, and then push, here click on define remote, give the URL of the repository that you just created, click on ok, now click on push. It will show you to log in to GitHub or use personal access token. I will prefer personal access token. So click on use token. You can also log in to GitHub from here. Now click on generate. Here you have to give your password. All the required permissions will be enabled. And click on generate token. It's done. Copy this token, it will be showed only one time, after that you cannot able to see this. Go back to Android Studio and paste this token. Click on login. It's done. Now switch to GitHub. 
let's go to our repository and click on refresh you will see our app has been successfully uploaded to our github repository next we will see how we can import an existing project from github repository for that first go to an existing repository which contains an android studio project then copy the url switch to android studio go to file then new then project from version control paste the url of the repository and click clone i will choose this window trust project wait for some time let it complete okay it's done if you go to the app java main activity and resource layout this activity then layout now let's modify our code i will go to activity main layout click this text add a button add horizontal and vertical constraints to reflect these changes in our remote github repository we need to commit this and then push it to the remote branch for that go to get click on this commit button you will see the changes that has been done and here you can add commit message like add the button then click on commit commit it's done to push this changes you can go to get then click on push you will see this commit added a button and then click on push and then if you go back to your repository click refresh you will see a commit has been added added a button and accordingly the code has been modified now say i modify something in the repository itself modify the readme then commit changes now to reflect these changes in our local android studio you need to click on this button in the bottom right corner and click on this refresh you will see a small icon will appear showing that this has some changes in the remote branch so to reflect this you need to click on this and then click on update it's done you can also do this commit push and update things directly from this icon at the top right corner using this button you can update your current branch which is selected and you pressing this button you can commit and using this you can push using this you can see the history if i click on it you will see there is two history one is added a button and there is first commit when first time i uploaded this project to github i did this commit and also you can roll back i will show you the roll back say you modified something you added a comment and you want to go back to your last commit so for that you can click on this roll back option and then click roll back you will see all your files will be rolled back to the last commit you can also see which line of the code has been modified by whom by right clicking beside that line and click on annotate with git clamp it will show you the name with date who have modified this particular line 
थैंक यू